Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Rico back at it again, ready to hit you with a new episode. It's the POP process or problem. If you guys are new to the page, I break down who will be part of this team going forward and who's part of the problem. And that's got to go. I've already done the quarterback room. If you haven't done that, go ahead and click on the quarterback room. And you guys already know it's a pretty simple one. Now let's get into something more challenging, the running back room and the receiver room. I'm merging both those units together so that way we can have a little bit of fun. Running back room, LaShawn McCoy, Frank Gore. We already know that's a lock. One future Hall of Famer to another. You got two guys that give you all the experience in the world and all the action in the world. About that action, and we're about to be about that action this year with Frank Gore and LaShawn McCoy. Don't be alarmed. Just because they're over 30 doesn't mean they're not going to give you production. Oh, they'll give you the production. And don't you worry about that. Now, how do we round off the rest of the running back room? Patrick DeMarco, Keith Ford, Marcus Murphy, and Chris Ivory. Here's the deal. Chris Ivory, you're owed $2 million. Frank Gore just came in. So when you do the math, you carry the one, bring the down to zero, divide by six, you're gone. <laughs> it's just the one, it's just what it is. I like Chris Ivory. I liked him a lot. He always gave us problems when he was with the Jets. He always gave us problems. But when you bring somebody in, somebody's got to go. And you're part of the problem, my good man. See you later. Marcus Murphy couldn't stay on the field last year, couldn't pass block, but I saw potential in him. Could he be part of the practice squad? But then that's where Keith Ford comes in. Keith Ford, they've been stashing away. I think they see potential in Keith Ford. So is it Keith Ford or is it Marcus Murphy? Marcus Murphy stayed on the team because of his ability to return the kick and return the punt. But guess what? I think we already took care of that problem. So Marcus Murphy, by elimination process, you are gone, sir. You are part of the problem. Keith Ford onto the practice squad. One player I haven't said yet, and that's Patrick DeMarco. What do you do with a phasing position of the fullback, especially in this day and age's offense? It's about airing the ball out, spreading the ball out, spreading your offense out. The fullback is not utilized as it was back in the 90s. You know what I'm saying? The offense has changed. Do we keep DeMarco or do we let him go? In my humble opinion, DeMarco is phased out. He needs to go. Part of the problem, get DeMarco out of here and let's just air the ball out and spread these bitches out and let's do this. So, without further ado, the running back room will look like this. Frank Gore, LaShawn McCoy, Keith Ford onto the practice squad, and I believe we will draft a young running back. So, that is it. That's the running back room. Let's jump into the receiver room. That's where the challenges are at the highest. And let's just jump into it. Cam Phillips. Mm. Very good production at Virginia Tech. But you're in the NFL now. You haven't had your opportunity. This is year two. Can you make big enough impact during camp? I just don't see you having the room for this because we brought too many guys in. So Cam Phillips, although you may not be part of the team, I think you'll be part of the practice squad. So I'll see you on the practice squad. Victor Bolden, you're out of here. Damari Scott, you're out of here. Sorry, fellas. There's just not enough room for you guys to develop on this team. Could you make the practice squad? Doubt it because it's going to be... We're revamping this team for it to be a special squad. So you two fellas, you gots to go. Now... Let's round out the rest of this receiving squad. Duke Williams, Isaiah McKenzie. Those are the guys that usually are going to be battling for that spot. Isaiah McKenzie, I like a lot. The human joystick. Ray Ray McLeod. You got phased out by Isaiah McKenzie. So I have to mention you, but you are now part of the problem. See you later. Isaiah McKenzie, you're on the bubble. Duke this. Williams, star receiver in the CFL. I got a love love for him. I think he's a dark horse to make this team. But because of the new additions to the team, it now has muddied the waters. Zay Jones, Foster, Cole Beasley, John Brown, Andre Roberts. That's five receivers right there. Then there's Duke Williams and Isaiah McKenzie. That is going to be a tough one. Will it be a battle of McKenzie and Duke Williams? But Duke Williams is six foot three. You know what I'm saying? A little over 215, 220 pounds. You could use a guy like that, but we don't know what's happening. This is going to be a full throttle power impact 
camp. So this will be interesting. And another thing, do we draft a receiver? We don't know. So those two guys, if I have to pick who's part of the problem or part of the process, I'm going to say Isaiah McKenzie, you got to go. The fact that we brought in Andre Roberts, the fact that we have Cole Beasley in the slot, it's just a numbers game. You have to go. If I'm picking between Duke and I'm picking between you, I'm going to take the six foot three guy that can go up and get it. So here rounds out the receiving room. Zay Jones, Foster, Cole Beasley, John Brown, Andre Roberts, Duke Williams, six receivers. We could draft another receiver. And here's where the tricky part comes in. Plot twist. If someone gets traded, who will it be? My guess, my intuition, my gut tells me Zay Jones could be part of some chatter going on around the league. Who's interested? Can we trade Zay Jones for some picks? Could we trade Zay Jones for AJ Green? Could we trade Zay Jones to the Atlanta Falcons for Julio Jones? I'm just saying, there's something that tells me that he could be part of a trade scenario. But until then, that is the crew. Six receivers. Could we go up to seven? Do we keep McKenzie or do we draft a receiver? You guys let me know. Chat it up in the comment section. Let me know how you guys feel about it. Like this video. Continue to show love to the Buffalo Fanatics. You guys already know. It's your boy Rico. And until next time, I'm gone.